10.1D, Factor Common Factors and Grouping. Now that you've learned how to factor out the GCF and do binomial GCFs, you are ready to factor by grouping. In grouping, we take the, the GCF out of both the left and right. In other words, we split this into two groups. And we start with, I should put this here, four terms. And that should help make that more sense in that we, we're splitting into two groups. We then factor out, once we've taken out the GCF, the binomial factor if it matches. Let's see how that works. So in example one here, what we're going to do is we're going to break this into two groups. Okay, So we have a first group and we have a second group. In our first group, I notice that they both have a common factor of 5 and a common factor of y. I'm now going to list what's left over. This is why we wanted you want to be able to do this with mental math rather than having to write everything out. So 15 divided by 5 is 3 and we're going to have an x left over. Put my plus down. 10 divided by 5 is 2 and y divided by y is 1. Okay, so we have that. Now here I both, both of these are negative so that usually indicates that I want to pull out a negative here. 18 and 12 have a common factor, the largest common factor of 6. They don't have anything else. So 18 divided by 6 is 3 and we're going to have the x left over. And 12 divided by 6 is 2. Okay, And we have negative 12 divided by negative 6 so that gives us a positive 2. Now our binomials match here. And if they don't match, we need to go back and relook at our factoring to make sure to get them there. So we pull out the greatest common factor now, which would be the binomial part. So we get 3x plus 2. We list what's left over. five y minus six and we have now factored this four term polynomial. Okay, let's look at our second example. Again I want to split it into two groups. I look at my first two terms. It looks like they have a common factor of three and then we have some x's in common but the highest exponent is one so we're going to have an x and they do not have y in common. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. x squared divided by x is x. Put my plus down. 3 divided by 3 is 1. x divided by x is 1 and that leaves me with just a y. Okay, let's look at our last two. I see no common factors okay but we can always take out a 1 so we're going to write this as plus 1 and I'm just going to list what's left over which means exactly what I have there when we take out 1 it doesn't have any effect now notice here that these are the same now okay so I'm going to pull out the GCF which is the 2x plus y now I'm going to list what's left over, which is the 3x plus 1. And I have factored it.